Hey everyone, welcome back to Failure Retirement. Today I wanted to kind of compare these two pre-war trains because their size is so drastically different. So let's take a closer look here. We'll start with this one in front. We've got this gunmetal locomotive, double pre war. Both of these trains are pre war, uh, pre 1938. I don't know exactly when this style started. Uh, 30, 32, I believe, is when this started. Uh, anyway, we've got this gunmetal locomotive. I don't remember what number it is. Drop a comment if you know. I used to know, but it's hard to remember. And then with this little locomotive, we've got some 600 series freight cars. Got the livestock car, tanker car. Uh, I've got a box car here, a hopper car, and a locomotive. Pretty nice little set. It's been pieced together. I literally got it one and two cars at a time. The locomotive actually was the first pre-war locomotive Old Failure had. I uh, don't think I even got the tender with it, I think. It might have. I don't know. It's been a lot of years. So let's go over the back here real quick. So in the back, we have the Lionel 262. Pretty good clean locomotive. Pretty sure I picked up this whole set at an estate sale four or five years ago. So anyway, nice locomotive, 262, tender, nice livestock car, got the tanker, got the automobile slash furniture box car, and we have finally the very nice locomotive. So really, like, I wanted to compare these two because it's, the size is just so different. Like, like, I don't know if you can really pick it up, but look at the difference in the cabooses. And then over here, like, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but the boxcars, the size is just dramatic. They're taller, longer. Here, you got the got the two tanker cars way different the two livestock cars if you look here here's another good way to know like these locomotives pretty neck and neck here on the track and down here on the other end the back of the cabooses again pretty much the same so like the two trains are the same length the train in front's got the hopper car it has a whole extra car in it just a dramatic size difference between the 600 series freights, 800 series freights. I don't know if it was a standard deluxe. Actually, I kind of think these uh, 600 series freights are the deluxe version of the 600 series. Don't really remember, but if you look, we got the four wheel trucks and the, the brake wheels and stuff. and. I believe there was 600 series freights that just had, you know, the, the single axle trucks on each end. So I don't, I don't remember guys. Like I don't remember um, if this is the deluxe 600 or if those other single axle trucks are, are just a different series maybe. But there's just a big size difference when you get up to the, 800 series they're just so much bigger and both trains from the same era mid 30s so i guess they just had like a lot of choices dollar wise so just depending on how much money a fella had he could give his kid a bigger nicer train or or a cheaper version i don't know but I'm super glad, super stoked to have all these different versions. And I try to keep them fairly close together just so you can see the difference. 
anyway uh you're welcome to tell me where i'm wrong as always i enjoy your comments so make sure and leave some comments let me know what you think help educate me a little bit because like i said i just don't really remember anyway drop a comment hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already gonna make a few more train videos coming up here pretty quick everybody have a nice day thank you for watching